Okay. Me ma, me ma, me ma. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll be back right after this. We gotta watch the show first. Yeah. All right. Look away, we look away. Going. But not yet today. Yo. This show is full of dismay. Look away. Look away. Look away. Camera. So we just finished watching part one of The Wide Window. Mm -hmm. Initial thoughts? It was pretty good. Pretty good. You heard it here first. Well, not first. Probably like 26. Oh. Then apparently 26 other people who have told you that it was pretty good before us. Probably. <laughs> so what happened in this episode? The children get dropped off at Lake Lacrimose, which they find out later is filled with bloodthirsty leeches that can smell food from a very long distance. And they've got very pointy noses, apparently. Took a taxi all the way up to go see their, or to meet their Aunt Josephine, who is deathly afraid of everything. We learned the difference between rational fears and irrational fears. Irrational fear means a fear that doesn't even make sense. A rational fear um, is a fear that makes sense. All right. Like a rational fear is clowns. I'm terrified. <laughs> so we got to meet her. She's scared to death of everything. Then we find out about this guy working at the anxious clown. And he apparently is part of some secret organization. Who do you think he is? I don't know. No idea here. It almost sounds to me like he was a bad guy, and now he's turned into a good guy. And so that would explain why Aleph and Aleph, why Olaf and his troop are so bent on getting him. But wait, but how they get there? They Road did boats. vote, but yeah. how the heck did they know that? We're gonna go to that place. Too. Maybe they, maybe they somehow know the the lineage of people that the kids are supposed to go to. So he accidentally says the name Josephine, and uh, so now Olaf knows where the kids are. Then the children talk to their aunt Josephine and point out the fact that there's a hurricane coming and so she heads off to town to go and get some limes and some other things so that they'll be able to weather the storm a phrase which here means to get through it really yes i'm in series of unfortunate events mode right now lemony snicket mode. lemony snicket mode when she makes it back to the house we find out that olaf with a peg leg has shown up how do you think he's pulling off a peg leg he cut off his own leg. That's what I think. He cut off his own leg. That's a that's a pretty tough way to uh, to try to make everybody believe something. We'll find that out in part two, I'm guessing. Then Olaf and Josephine go on a hot date to get some fried egg sandwich. Yeah. And the kids try to escape the home to go let Josephine know and are thwarted by Olaf's troop. Thwarted. A word which here means stopped in their tracks. Thwarted. <laughs> thwarted. 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 So now the Baudelaire is going to Baudelaire mode. Violet tied her hair up with a bow. Sunny is being sunny, I guess. She was eating crackers. And looking at the notes. And Claus is uh, reading the book about um, secrets. Your organizations. Yeah. Like the pig Latin. And then CRASH! There's a Josephine shaped hole in the window. Josephine dies. But then Lemony Stick comes right back to tell you that she didn't die right then. Yeah. So, how did that hole get there? Believe it or not, there was another object in the room that was Josephine shaped. Insert picture here. So, I did notice while we were watching it, and I just didn't say it to you, that, uh, that the statue disappeared from that scene but who pushed it we did see that the uh, the car was driving back up to the house maybe the troop did it i tried to trick boulders could be oh wait they could have tricked the boulders detective iron edge was on the case i think the troop pushed the thing out of the window to make boulders think that josephine died so then count olaf could come back without josephine and say that 
Josephine die. That's just what I'm thinking of. Okay. No, that's fine. Theory craft away. So far in the show, I figured out four theories. But I don't remember them all. <laughs> the fourth was... The fourth one was this one. So you'll have to wait for the next half of this episode's review and recap and so you can hear our revelations as to the aftermath of the episode. It's getting a little bit late. Iron Ninja Robot has been yawning. Iron Ninja... Uh. Iron Ninja Robot has been yawning in some of these takes. So we're going to have to wrap it up here. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Later. Now that he's gone, be sure to click over here to view the other videos in this playlist. Look away. Look away. Look away. Click our next video and hit play. Look away. Look away. We'll see you another day.